it was fine for me. I was just being patient and waiting for my time to come. Uh, I wasn't, I mean, I wanted to be out there, but whatever whatever the decision the coach made, I was I was all down for it, you know? Because, I mean, you scored the first touchdown of the season. And yeah. then you kind of fell back in the shadows, I guess, maybe is the best term. But, I mean, was it just frustration at all or anything? No, I mean, whatever the coach's decision was, I was I was fine with it. But just now is my time to go out there and really put on a show and let the world know who Curtis Samuel is. Do you feel like you're going to play? You might have already been asked this question. I got over here a little late, Curtis. Do you feel like you're going to play running back and H this year, or just one of the two? Oh yeah, I definitely do both. I'm not going to limit myself this year. Do you have any preference? No, not really. Just want the ball. <laughs> yeah, both is fine for me. I feel comfortable in both positions. And health-wise, it's a toe injury you're dealing with right now. Uh, it's right? like it's it's the uh, bone on the bottom of my foot. It's called a sesamoid. How did that happen? Uh, in the Illinois game, uh, it happened. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really know what the injury was, but uh, I felt I just heard it. I like jumped over uh, like a pile, and then I landed on my foot wrong. And when I got up, I just felt severe pain, and I felt like I couldn't really walk. But I just like kept on going, and towards the end of the season, I just found out. What are you going to do right now? A bone was cracked. Uh, not really much yet. I haven't started running yet. I'm just still rehabbing, running the pool, running on treadmills and stuff. So I'm still just trying to uh, ease my way back into it. You're in uniform today, is it just you know being out here, being a part of things? Yeah, I mean, just just I gotta be like just like these guys, you know. Even though I'm not practicing, I still gotta put in work uh, elsewhere. What? I mean, you're not able to do everything. No, I'm not able to do anything. Everything. Corey is kind of in the same boat. Right. What do you? Is that kind of brought you guys together? I guess this spring. I mean, you're all expected to be big contributors this fall, but you can't really do a lot on the field right now. Oh, we we all close. We are a uh, real close unit. I mean, we in uh, we in meeting rooms with them, just telling them things uh, that that they could work on a little bit, uh, since we like an extra hour from the coach. So it's just an extra hour out there for them guys, just to be able to work on a little things. It reflects on your true freshman year. Obviously, you guys win the national championship. You're one of the few true freshmen that played on that team. Right. And you gave Ezekiel really a run for his money for the starting running back job, talking to the coaches. I mean, reflect on that. I mean, I'm sure at the time you didn't think much of it, but did you reflect on it now? Everything you went through that year, winning the title. And just everything that year. Oh yeah, that was a. I mean, coming in as a young guy, you know, straight from high school, my goal was just coming in and contribute wherever. I played a lot of special teams. Whether I, I was getting the game at running back, you know, just go out there and just contribute. And every day I practice, I just proceed, you know, just become the best player he could be, just by out there, um, just even going hard. So just to push him, push him a little bit, you know, make him work a little harder. But Zeke is a great guy, you know. Uh, he was a great running back here, and he's about to do big things now. Yeah, I mean, he's one of the best running backs in Ohio State history, and you gave him a run for his money for the starting job when you were a true freshman. I guess that's what I'm kind of getting at. I mean, that's kind of impressive looking back on it. I mean, like I said, I was just out there, you know, trying to trying to uh, help him get better and just pushing him to the limit. What do you think this offense is going to look like? You guys lost Couple more so many questions for Curtis. key players, but you got JT Barrett back. That's a pretty big uh, addition right there. Uh, it's it's going to be great. We got a lot of different weapons. Uh, a lot of guys that's, that's stepping up. We got running backs that's, that's, that's doing good now. Uh, the, the offense is going to be really good. The linemen is stepping up. So it's going to be a new look to Ohio State football. I'm sure you address this, but could you update us on, their, on your health? Uh, I've probably been off for of probably seven weeks. I was in a cast for a little bit. Didn't know how to boot. Uh, so I just got the probably, I'm probably two weeks out of the boot now. But I probably got a couple more weeks until I probably start running again. I'm just trying to ease my way back into it. I'm trying to come back when it's where I have no pain in my foot, so it won't bother me throughout summer and camp and everything. So I'll come back when I'm ready. What was the injury? Uh, it was my sesamoid bone. I cracked it. Uh, I had a, a slight crack at the top. So they just, when I had surgery, they went in and just took the crack part out and just put it back. So it was like that. Yeah, yeah.